Hey guys, it's Michael from Car Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering what's the difference between a physical property versus a chemical property. So we'll start with the definitions of physical versus chemical properties, pointing out the differences, and then we'll go over some examples where we identify whether these properties are chemical or physical. So to start, a physical property is a property that you can observe without changing the identity or the formula of the compound or element that you're working with. And these can typically be observed with the five senses, such as Examples of physical properties are density, color, hardness, melting and boiling points, conductivity, texture, smell. So anything that you can observe without changing or re reacting the uh, compound or element. Chemical properties, on the other hand, this describes how the compound or element will react with others to, to form new species. So this will involve a change in the formula. Pretty much this will undergo a describes how it undergoes a chemical reaction. So the common examples of chemical properties will be flammability, how easily it burns, because burning is a type of reaction, toxicity, acidity, reactivity, or heat of combustion. So now let's take a look at some examples where we have to identify whether these are chemical or physical properties. The so first one, blue color, this is going to be a physical property because it's just something you can observe. You, the compound isn't going under, undergoing any type of chemical change. Density, again, this is something that you can observe. You can just measure the mass divided by the volume. Flammability, we've talked about that. That involves a reaction where the compound changes uh, its formula, so this would be a chemical property. Solubility, this is just how it dissolves, so that would just be another physical property. This is important to remember, a lot of students get this mixed up. Solubility is a physical property, not a chemical property. Reacts of acid, well, uh, if you see a property that talks about reactivity or has to react in any way, then that's pretty much going to be a chemical property. Next one, supports combustion. Combustion is just burning. It's a type of chemical reaction, so that would be chemical property. Sour taste, uh, taste is just a physical property. Melting point, any anything involving a phase change like melting point, freezing point, boiling point, any of those phase change points, that's just going to be a physical property because the compound's formula doesn't change. Reacts water, or reacts, so that would be chemical property. Hardness, that is also going to be a physical property. Boiling water, again, that's just a phase change, so that's going to be physical. Luster, luster is just how shiny something is. That's something that you can observe without altering the identity of the compound, so that would be, again, physical property. Odor, just how it smells, that's again physical. And then lastly, reacts of air, so that would be chemical. There's, these pretty much will be the chemical properties that you'll probably see on, on the test, uh, with maybe one or two more, but these are the most common one. So that's, that's it, that's the difference between chemical versus physical property. Chemical property is just something you can observe without changing the identity, and physical, or sorry, that's physical property is something you can observe without changing the identity. And chemical property just describes how this compound or element reacts to form new compounds or elements. It pretty much describes the reactivity. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide. 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry, you can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.